Hasbro, Hasbro, Hasbro. I really didn't think I'd be making this video, to be honest. I am actually making it because Hasbro messed up on Turbo. Like, let's keep it real here, guys. I'm going to give you guys my opinion on Beyblade vs. Turbo and just giving kind of like a direct message to Hasbro, how I feel about this new series and what I think is going to happen to Beyblade and just what I see in the future because I'm going to tell you the truth from a Beytubers perspective. Like, I'm not going to be buttering it up and saying that Turbo is going to be great because in reality, it sucks. So anyway, we're going to get to it. And just first things first, this is my opinion of what I think Turbo is. If you guys don't agree with my opinion, that's cool. We are all entitled to our own opinions. And, you know, if you feel a need to disagree, I'm fine with that. I'm just going to tell you guys my thoughts and I'm going to keep it 100% real with you guys because I think you guys do deserve the truth. I feel other Baytubers are kind of making it seem like it's not that bad, but no. Turbo sucks. Anyway, we're going to cut to the chase here. Turbo does not have metal on the layers. And if you guys don't know, Chozy slash Super Z, the main gimmick is obviously the metal on the layers. Hasbro is scrapping that, and they're focusing more on the slingshot gimmick, which really isn't even in Takarotomi, or let alone the anime. So, they're really relying on this slingshot system, which is just the drivers changing from a regular mode to an attack mode. Um, which is then used on their stadium, which has a little ramp. And I've seen it in action. Zanki has shown these off, so shout out to him. Um, and just first impressions, it's 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 pretty bad. Like, it's, it's not even good. Um, so obviously, the lack of metal, there's some reasonings behind this. People have theories, and I'm going to tell you guys probably the most reasonable theory. The reason why they don't have metal is because they're trying to cut corners. Um, Hasbro has been trying to cut corners ever since Metal Fury. They really kind of are doing the same thing as they did in Metal Fury. They got rid of a lot of the gimmicks and made it more simple and just cheaper. So Hasbro's doing that all over again. By getting rid of the metal, they're making it cheaper for them to produce. And they're kind of just selling us this crap for a cheaper price, a slightly cheaper price. But they're still making their quick buck. So yeah, they're cutting corners. It's been evident that even since the beginning of Burst, no stickers, hollowed out launchers... Um, just lack of gimmicks, lack of parts. Um, they really did kind of turn it around for Switch Strike, and I had a lot of hope because I was like, you know what? They're really kind of fixing their issues that they had in the dual layers and single layers. But nope, they went back to their old ways, and they're really cutting corners. Um, once again, no metal means cheaper for them to produce and more money for them. So we always got to keep this in mind, and maybe you guys don't understand this, but Hasbro is a big toy company. They're trying to make money, and... For them, if they can make a quick buck off of their products by just downgrading the quality and not giving you guys the 100% full products, then they're happy because they're going to still make money off of it, regardless of whether or not it's actually good. So, comparing this to the Takarotomi counterparts, a lack of metal means less weight, obviously. They're pretty much half the weight of their Takarotomi counterparts, and that is a huge red flag. If they're way lighter, they're not going to be as effective in battle, because obviously heavier Beyblades do perform better in battle. Now... I know people are going to say, well, they're trying to balance Chozy. And to be honest, Chozy is kind of on the unbalanced side. Um, of course, they are heavier than ever, and they just have more, better teeth. They're not going to burst as much, and they're really just kind of broken to an extent. The problem is that Beyblade has always been like this. Whatever's new is going to pretty much outclass the older stuff. If they made it actually balanced like any, I guess, proper game should be, there would be no reason to buy the new Beyblades. So, in order for them to keep making money and to sell you guys products, they're going to make the newer stuff more powerful. That's just how it works. So, when this is, I guess, changed though, we got Hasbro that is really just nerfing all of Cho Z to make a quick buck. It really makes this whole series useless compared to Switch Strike. Because Switch Strike, for the most part, is on point and the weight is there and everything. So, if you got older stuff beating the new stuff, that being Turbo then there's a problem. There's going to be no reason to buy Turbo, apart from maybe the anime or aesthetics. But if you're trying to, like, have fun or trying to compete, maybe even being competitive or whatever, there's going to be no reason to buy this new stuff because they are all going to be pretty much crap compared to the older, more powerful stuff. So this is where I think the downfall of Beyblade will happen. Um, if people don't like the new stuff and they don't have a reason to buy the new stuff, then they're going to sit on store shelves there's going to be poor sales for Beyblade, and then Hasbro's probably going to cancel Turbo altogether. Now, this is just worst case scenario. Hasbro does have a chance to turn it around. They did this already once in the past with Legends, where they remade everything properly. But why would Hasbro go through that again? I really don't understand that. 
I think if they don't see the benefit or I guess the sales anymore, they're just going to cash out. They're going to be done and Beyblade's going to be done for. And I know I sound like I'm being like crazy, you know, negative, but I'm telling you guys the truth. This is going to probably be the end of Beyblade, whether you guys like it or not. I'm not trying to tell you guys to quit, but what I'm just saying is they're going to be pretty crap and I don't think anyone's going to buy them. Now, in my situation here, like, I'm just going to give you my personal perspective. I was around in Metal Fight when Hasbro did the exact same bullcrap where they did get rid of all the gimmicks. And I was super upset because, guess what? I couldn't afford any Takartomi stuff. So I was stuck with Hasbro for a little bit. And it was just really sucky because you really want the full experience. You want the full top. But you're going to get this half-assed thing. And it's just not going to be fun. Trust me. So... I know where you guys are coming from with this and some of you maybe are stuck buying Hasbro and that just sucks. I get it. It's going to be terrible. But there is just one solution to this and it is you're going to have to probably save up and get the Takarotomi counterparts. That's my advice personally as a Beytuber and just a fellow Beyblader to y'all. If you guys do want the actual Beyblade, just get, get a freaking Takarotomi one. If you know, worse comes to worse, you can even get a fake because fakes actually have metal. That's that's the defining factor here. The fact that they don't have metal, it just really is killing it for me. And I, I think a lot of people will agree. Now, I know it's too soon to say this is going to happen, but guess what? There, It's already been proven enough that these things suck. Like, Zanki did enough battles. If they're losing to their previous counterparts or the previous evolutions, it's going to be like a no-brainer here. They're not going to be that good for battles, and they're just too light to be used for anything. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of it here. Like, I really don't know how Hasbro's going to turn this around. Once again, they could do the whole remake stuff, but that's just so much work and effort. Like, why go? Why bother going through the whole process of remaking everything if they already, like, nerfed everything and ruined it? Like, it just makes no sense to me. Once again, the end message here is that Hasbro is just trying to make money at the, at the end of the day. So if they need to cut corners, they will, and they clearly have. Now, on, a, on like a last note, the slingshot gimmick, I saw it in action, and it actually looks kind of cool. And people say, well, with the weight, slingshot wouldn't work as well. Well, no. I'm pretty sure most Beyblades, whether they're heavy or not, they're still going to go up the rails just as much as a light Beyblade would. So, that's not an excuse. They could have easily made them heavy and with the slingshot drivers. But overall, it's just a whole gimmicky mess. I'm not happy with Turbo. Um, I honestly don't even have that much Hasbro Beyblades to begin with. I wasn't happy with the first waves, and I, th I thought Switch Strike really turned it around, but I was wrong. Hasbro screwed up again. So, let me know what you guys think by commenting down below. I would like to hear your thoughts. If you guys disagree with me, that's cool. Once again, um, I think everyone's entitled to their own opinions, but one thing's for sure, your boy's not going to buy any. I really don't see myself buying any. If I see some at the dollar store later on because they don't sell well, maybe I'll pick up a few, but... Your boy's not going to spend 10 to $12 on a single Beyblade that doesn't have any metal on it besides the disc. So my advice to you guys is get yourself some Takarotomi genuine products with actual metal or even if you have to get some fakes because they're going to be much better than these crappy Hasbro remakes. Anyway though, that's the end of this kind of rant video. I didn't want to be that negative, but I have to tell you guys the truth. As a Baytuber, I don't want to sugarcoat it. I'm going to just tell you guys straight up, I wouldn't recommend buying these. Anyway... I hope you guys enjoy this video, and once again, comment your thoughts down below. Anyway, until next time, guys, see ya.